If you guys are like me and you don't know how to make the 8-way selector, you're definitely gonna love this video. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Damien and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. Today, we're making an 8-way redstone selector, so let's go ahead and get started. So basically, here's our 8-way redstone selector and any block that the arrow is pointing to gets selected and a redstone signal is sent to that item. So basically, we right-click over here, it points towards the orange block and there we go. Now we have our orange block now lit up with a redstone signal and you can use this to basically um, add to your structures, make a combination lock you could choose specific items to dispense and create like a vending machine but you can use this for a lot of things and a lot of you have requested this and this is actually pretty simple to build so I'm gonna show you guys how it works and then we're gonna build a structure so basically we have a comparator that's gonna send out a signal that's gonna um, ignite four blocks over here if we have the fourth one selected and then it's gonna light up three blocks over here essentially it's gonna turn it on from the bottom and then this is gonna subtract the top blocks meaning that only this one will stay alive and um, lit all right so what do you want to do first is place down a row of eight blocks of your choice. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Once you have that, go ahead and grab some repeaters and place it in this configuration. And then once you have that, grab some redstone and place it on top of the first row of blocks. Then grab your block of your choice and place down another row that's on top of this redstone repeater by shift and right clicking. And then bring the row all the way over here and then place down some more redstone on top of that. And then once you have that, go ahead and place down another row of eight blocks right over here. And then on top of that, place down some redstone repeaters and set that to three ticks or two right clicks of the repeater. So basically, come over here, click twice. That is now three ticks. And we set them all to that uh, specific configuration. All right, so once you have that, go ahead and take some redstone torches, place it right on this side of the block that's on the redstone um, repeater block, and then go ahead and take another block of your choice, shift and right click and place it on top of that torch, and then bring it all the way down to this side, and then place down some redstone torches on top of that. So our redstone torches up here is gonna be where our signal was outputted from, or this block in particular. All right, so the last thing you wanna do is go ahead and place down another block over here, a comparator like this, and shift and right clicking to place a block on this side of the comparator, and placing down your item frame with your arrow and now when we go ahead and right click you can see that it changes the signal to whatever block you want and the last thing you need to do is just fill out the area and then add in some more item frames so let's go ahead and do that there we go and whatever the item frame is pointing to, say for instance, a redstone torch, you could go ahead and have a dispenser kind of outputting to a redstone torch, or maybe just have a secret door or something like that. So you can really implement this into anything you want. I did not create this invention. This is something known in the Minecraft community. I'm just showing you guys a tutorial on how to build it. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, please take one second to smack the like button. I definitely appreciate all the support. If you guys want to see more of my videos, also leave a comment down below and suggest a build that you want to see on my channel or tutorial or whatever. Anyways guys, this was Twist and I'll see you later.